Good morning, guys. You guessed it. My tripod is in the trailer again. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. We have a rather exciting weekend. However, I will warn you now, this vlog is probably going to be quite disjointed. We're doing quite a lot of different things and I'm gonna just mash all in together. But basically, I am off to get my lashes done in a minute. Now, don't get excited. There won't be much of a transformation. I only get them like lift and tinted. So doing that and then, I'm out of breath, I've been running. When I get back, Charlie should be here or be close because I have got Charlie and Ali coming to stay. If you've seen my vlogs before, you'll know who they are. They're coming to stay for five days till Monday. Ali's coming Thursday to Saturday. Charlie's coming today to Monday, yeah because we've got Charlie's area competition on Sunday and it's basically near me again. So yeah, making a bit of a week of it to have some fun. Delivering breakfast for this one. And then your boyfriend's coming. Come on then. So that's her done this morning. She's just had a few days off after dressage. It basically, we've been hit with another heat wave. Anyway, so yeah, Charlie's gonna arrive in a minute. I'm gonna go off and get my lashes done and that means I will see you in a minute. And I'm back, and someone's in the gateway. Charlie's here. Hey. Hello. I love how his ears flop as he puts his hand. You on holiday? He says, "Man, this is not a show. <laughs> this is it's not a show. Sunday. You'll recognise where you are, and all this you can eat until your heart is content." Because I haven't got any grass where I am. Cute butt. <laughs> well, the horse is settled. <laughs> oh, the eyes of being in love because there's a boy on the yard. <laughs> a boy who scuffed his leg. Silly boy, oh. But yes, Charlie and Spider are here. Can I sort you out now, accident prone? Start calling your sick note. Call your sick note. Oh, a boy. A boy. What do you think, Spides? Now that's not electric. The only electric one's here. It's all right. He's very respectful of fencing. Hey. You're not bothered, are you, by your boyfriend? She's like, I don't give a damn. There's literally a boy right next to you. And everyone says that I lie when my horse isn't interested in horses. New field friend, couldn't give a damn. <laughs> so I've been totally rubbish at vlogging today because we haven't actually done anything. Um, oh, bye spider. No, Charlie arrived, we settled them and then we actually went shopping and then we've chilled we at home. girly things, we've we got did. girly things. Because Ali's here tomorrow, so we're riding tomorrow and stuff like that. So we've not ridden today. They've just settled and spider, who normally goes on like hunger strike or stress pot, it's been fine, absolutely devoured his dinner. All chilled out. Cool as a cucumber. Dublin's being clever. She's in the shade over there. Spider's just there. exploring. So yeah, I think I'm going to over and out for the rest of the day and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is now Thursday and we are actually going to be doing some pony stuff. So it is half past seven. We are going to go for a ride before it gets hot. Luckily we can stay in the woods as well where it's like completely shaded. But Spider's enjoyed his first night. His mummy is there vlogging as well. She's made his breakfast. I'm very happy to you a good boy. Yeah, they've had a great night. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get them in. Massage pad on, breakfast and go. Good morning. Was it nice having a boyfriend overnight? Was it nice having a boyfriend? Hey. Oh, has he moved his... He managed to move his water when it's still full. He has the hell? Good morning, darling. You want to come in? Nice soupy breakfast because it's going to be hot. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to go for a little mooch around the woods. I've just left my bridle that I want in the trailer from Saturday. 
I didn't take my bridle out. But yeah, we're going to go for a route around the woods because it's all in the shade and it's nice and cool. We're due to get, I think, not bad actually. We're only going to get like 27 degrees today. But we want to get ridden and then Ali's coming and then we've got to go to Nailers. So yeah, we're having a good day and I will take you along for this very disjointed and weird vlog. <laughs> I just took Charlie and Spider out for a little mooch around the woods. They have actually stayed with us before and hacked with us before. And I'm pretty sure if you have been on my channel before, you've seen our hacking. It is a little bit slower, but that suits us because it was rather warm. It was getting, we were lucky. We were missing the, obviously like the 35 degree heat, but it was still sort of 24, 23, 24 degrees. So we stuck to the shade and had a jolly nice ride actually. <laughs> So I said to Charlie, we'll come riding around the woods because it's all nice and cool. We're in the shade. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Dublin's 15 free and I'm five foot two. So it's never really an issue. Yeah, Spider's 16 one and 16 two and Charlie is 5'11". So she's been beheaded <laughs> the whole way around this ride. She's just spent more time with her arse in my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So yes, I thought best to actually get out of the woods for the last part of the ride. This is actually a like footpath byway type path um, and it just goes around the fields and then luckily up the next track we were all in the shade and we were back. I think we were out for about 45 minutes so it was perfect. Get them all hosed off and get them back out in the field. supposed to be tied up in the wash bay <laughs> and uh, just decided that actually no I'm gonna I'm gonna bugger off out to the field <laughs> bit like the walk of shame that right poor Ali Pally is not going to make it um, quite rightly and quite understandably she had a night shift last night, so she couldn't leave until like now, and it's just extortionately hot, so she doesn't want to travel mags in the lorry. And then she's got to leave Saturday because she's got a christening on the Sunday. So she again, she'd be leaving in the absolute blazing heat. So quite rightly, she's made the decision that it's not it's not fair on mags. Um, I have just messaged her to see if she'll come on her own, but also it's quite a long way, so no pressure. But we are going to leave the yard. Charlie is still here, and go to Nailers. Well, I thought I'd bring you along for this because who doesn't love a trip to the shops? I had to go back for a basket because we were picking up a little bit far too much. Charlie decided to try on all sorts of different types of jackets, although having her handbag on her back does not help with the fitting. However, this was really cute and the rose gold would match her hat, so it was tempting. They have this massive wall of socks. I find this fascinating and we all know that Nailers have the huge rug collection and the massive saddle pad collection. It's just, it's like a wall of heaven that, isn't it? Now, my favorite thing is like product aisles. <gasps> I love all the different products all lined up, all neatly, oh, who would, I just, I'd love a tack room like this. I would just love a tack room that looked like this. I did pick up a few little bits and bobs that I needed to grab and Charlie just was <laughs> much around like a child, to be totally honest. Shopping with Charlie, he's like taking a toddler. 
Anyway, I'm back to the nitty gritty stuff. I picked up these reins. Uh, I didn't actually like them, so that's frustrating. Charlie was ogling over all these boots that she loved. And then we found this fork. Now, it was too tall for like a child fork. So what on earth is that for? Anyone let me know? Very quick tackle. Hebby scrub, or the cheap version of Hebby scrub. T-shirt, because, you know, T-shirt. But I finally got the reins I've needed for ages, because most of you will know I've been nabbing them off my dressage bridle. But now we're going to be, well, we're going to go snack hauling now. Snack haul. Home bargains is next door. And then McDonald's for lunch. Good morning. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog, or finish vlogging yesterday. But basically we went to Nailers, as you saw, and the shops, and then it just got really hot. We came home and just crashed. We just crashed. And then fed them last night like normal and went to bed. <laughs> so very rock and roll. But yeah, this morning again, we're here. It is 7.05 and we've got an arena hire down the road for me. Basically, it's like 10 minute drive. That sun's really bright, isn't it? 10 minute drive and it's all undercover, but luckily it's 23 degrees today until about lunchtime. So we'll be well home and done by then. So over the moon, because I want to run through my, that sounds really bad. I want to run through my Equifest type of like routine and do all that and Charlie's running through her areas. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Because I might have left my keys at the yard. <laughs> the keys to my tackle locker, I left them at the yard. But we are 10 minutes down the road, literally by car. Um, so luckily Jordan is at the stables and she's going to run them down for me. <laughs> this, bearing in mind, all this is after spending 10 minutes trying to get that one on a trailer. Because he absolutely would not load. Uh, we're both really tired. So yeah, luckily I'm only gonna do about half an hour Dublin. So we're gonna get Spider all in and going and then I shall get tapped up and join them. But yeah, my horse is a super brat. That's the problem. He wouldn't get on the trailer. And then of course when he was on, I was like, run, 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 get Dublin on, leave. And I left the keys to the trailer at the yard. My bit. So yes, this is the arena that I hired and you can see why. It has the roof but no sides on it and from experience of like warming up or competing at this venue, I knew it was cool. So yeah, it was like a no-brainer to hire this arena. Right, so this is like warm-up footage but I think I was accidentally zooming in on my watch because I was using my watch to like start and stop recording but I was obviously fiddling with the little like twisty thing on the side and I kept zooming in and zooming out and causing all kinds of god knows what. Luckily Charlie did film a little bit for me towards the end once we'd sort of like warmed up together. I filmed her run through her test again that'll be on her vlog so her channel was linked below but yeah it was it was a good warm up and it went all well but then then unfortunately I have a problem with my lower legs where I have nerve damage from chemo. It really, really played up. I've been doing quite a lot recently and my sort of arthritis and legs have been quite sore. So basically from like the knee down on my right hand side, my lower leg was really, really weak. And it felt like it was like flapping around. And the problem is, because my left side is normal, my left side's feeling really, really strong, and my right side is then left feeling really weak, which then means it's really hard to balance. So basically I rode like a lemon. I just, it was awful. It's actually quite embarrassing, and I'm gonna keep it in because it's like my reality, but you can just see that I'm sort of struggling to sit deep or sort of sitting to, I'm just, I was so focused on just not unbalancing her. But yeah, she went beautifully. So it looked better than it felt. And that's what Charlie said anyway. So, but you can just sort of see I'm struggling because one side feels so weak. So it was frustrating, but it's life. And she's just an absolute angel. Go 
falling down and look we've been in this perfectly shady school and it's actually not boiling hot so i'm really really pleased unfortunately come on Baba. she was an absolute angel bless her heart but i have a symptom from when i was on chemo that i lose the feeling in my lower leg it hasn't happened in ages and about 10 minutes into the session i just lost all feeling so um i would have done a voiceover obviously but yes i just feel gutted it kind of just like deflates me a little bit so yeah but she was a good girl she's not that's not sweat by the way it's fly cream but yeah you're a good girl go and get you all washed off yeah <laughs> you're not bothered are you rubbish filming but i'm well aware that we are here for five days and i don't want to make this vlog major long are you gonna come off or not you come in come on <laughs> in your own time come on <laughs> come on she's always so slow off the ramp um it's only just starting to get hot. Turn around. So we timed that perfectly and we managed to stay in the shade the whole time. So that's really, really good. Uh, yeah, so you're absolutely fine. I'm gonna get her washed off properly and get her out in the field. And then we are going to the trekking center because they've got like a bit of a Texas Western barn and we're gonna get horsey themed milkshakes. So basically, this is a place where you can go trekking all out over the chase, but they do do these amazing milkshakes, which I kind of managed to not film very well. But yeah, they were incredible. End of day two. Slave is poo picking my field, actually. Uh, I'm going to push the wheelbarrow this time. I picked yesterday. Charlie pushed. I'm going to push. It's but no. Day two or day three? Day 12. You arrived late Wednesday. We didn't really vlog it. So it's day two full. The full day two. It's Friday night. We are out for dinner tonight. Dinner but yeah, the ponies are both brilliant this morning and then they've just been back out in the field. In terms of horsey content, we were aiming for a lot more, but no one wants to hang around on the yard in 30 degree heat. So we've not been doing it. In fact, we went for a nap. So yes, I'm gonna say goodbye from the ponies. Spider is down there. There he is, having his din-dins. And I'm gonna help Charlie poop pick, so. Yeah, you better. Oh, he's there. Hello, Jelly. So it is. Oh, I better check you're coming up actually, so I can't get my pony in without you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Day three, four. Oh, I don't know. Is. Saturday. Oh, um, it's really cold. <laughs> I'm in this shirt and it's really windy and I'm really cold. Um, but we're here again early to get ridden. And then we're going to take our tack home and clean our tack because what else do you do when it gets to 32 degrees? Oh, yes, hello. Can you even hear me in this wind? Good morning. Hello. Spider. What are you doing? She's a baby. Bye -bye, Nappy yeah. time. You need to take a nap nap. Take a nap nap. He's like, I would if my mum shut up. That's mm. <laughs> actually kind of hurt in my back. <laughs> afternoon on saturday and i have just been getting this handsome fella ready he's off to areas tomorrow that's why charlie's staying down here it's easier for her to go to an areas near me than it is to go on her own so i have just platted him up i'll show you in a second and i'm now actually going to see if dublin apple bobs i've let her sort of stay in going to give her a little bit of an apple bob i've also started packing the trailer for every fest but that's all obviously in a different vlog 
So yeah, if you want to see me prep and get all of Spider ready in a little bit of a plaiting tutorial, I guess, she's filmed quite a lot of it, you'll have to go to Charlie's channel. I'll link it below and put it here. But uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with those plaits. They go in way easier than Dublin's do. I'm tired, boy. well good morning guys it is 6 a.m which is why i look like death i am so tired from just all these really early mornings and then like the heat it just zaps it out of you like because by midday it's ridiculously hot and of course we've been riding early in the morning to beat the heat but today we are actually off to sorry i'm drinking a bit of water we're actually off to double uh, to Dublin's to Charlie's area festival. Um, heat police, don't panic. Her class is at like half nine, and we're going to be done and home by eleven. So, like, it's fine for us to go. Um, plus, it's been this hot now for so long that the horses are just totally acclimatised to this kind of heat. There's a lot of stick about you know some people competing and. We said, like, if Charlie's time was at one o'clock in the afternoon, then no, we would definitely, definitely withdraw. But it's at half nine in the morning. So we are off to do area festivals. It will be over on Charlie's channel. And basically, you have to go over there to see. I'll show you a little, I'll show you a little snippet. Charlie's areas and it's only just starting to get hot so we've timed that really well this one has spent the morning in just having naps because you know what she's like she doesn't really sleep very well when she lives out and she's not really had any naps in so I thought while we were there this morning I would leave her in and it just sort of gets her out of the sun for a bit doesn't it but, um yeah she's had a really good nap so I think we're gonna take Spidey Bum's plats out and we're gonna go home for a bit of a lunchtime nap because all this getting up really early in the morning to ride before the heat and then up at five this morning, we're knackered. So yeah, that's literally it. It's literally all this vlog has been is just riding and napping and riding and napping. So stay tuned. Good morning guys. It is Monday now, trying to go home. Um, well done if you got this far because I can only apologise how disjointed this vlog was. Um, we had so much more planned basically which is why we decided to vlog. But the heat just, it was too much. And by the afternoon there was not really a lot we could do. Anyway, Charlie is heading off now. She's hitching up her car. Spider's having his breakfast. And yeah, I've got two days now until Equifest. So I need to get a rig along so I've not packed anything i've not done anything haven't even fully clipped her legs i've got to do that this afternoon um which is cutting it a little bit fine so yes yeah, she'll get lunch today hack tomorrow and then we leave wednesday so yes i shall say goodbye and we shall see you next time we'll wave charlie off and yeah catch you next time guys bye